pick up the Quran and then you understand words from there. This, this is great motivation for a person. And this is the objective of learning the Arabic language, to be able to understand the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here we've understood Iqra. This is a fi'al amr. Ba harf jar is making this one majur. Rabbi. We know that this is mudaf mudaf ilay. That's why this is majur. And then any adhamir that's attached to a noun gives you mudaf mudaf ilay. We know alladhi is ism mawsul. That which comes after is ism mawsul. Khalaqa is madi. We look for the am. We look for the fa'il. If there's no fa'il, we assume that it is huwa. That's hidden. Insana is the mudaf ilay. Is the maf'ulun bihi. This requires a maf'ulun bihi. This is the maf'ulun bihi. Min harf jar. Alaqin is mid. This is beautiful. When you're able to do this and you understand ayat and you can read tafsir and benefit from the scholars, benefit from the ahadith and understand, this is the greatest motivation. This is what pushes us to learn the Arabic language. And as an advice, I advise my brothers and sisters who are following these lessons not to be of those who, whenever they come across a new advertisement full of colors, advertising a new lesson, Arabic lesson that's about to start. It causes them to leave off what they are currently studying and go to start a new lesson. I've seen this a lot. And this is something which is, is, a, is a great hurdle for students of knowledge. So they stop what they're studying after what they've benefited and they go join a new lesson. And then when they're studying that lesson, another advertisement pops around, another uh, teacher or another class is advertised and it, it, with, with more colors and it looks more dramatic and it sounds more nice, and they go and join that one. And they don't, they don't finish that book, which they left the first book for. And there's a silsila, it's a chain. And they don't benefit. And years go by, and they're jumping from one lesson to another. So if you know something is beneficial for you, at least do your best and commit yourself to completing the lesson. The advantage of these videos is that you can do it in your own time. You're working during the weekdays. Okay, uh, week, week, weekends, I'm going to set my time out to do two lessons or three lessons according to your own ability your own pace that's the benefit and you can go and visit the lesson whenever you want as many times as you want and you can also ask questions and inshallah as as you can see in the comment section i i try my best to answer the questions so you ask a question and, and i'll get back to you and best of all is free you see lessons getting advertised and a lot of the times it's like 60 pounds 65 pounds 20 pounds a month and and so on and you don't get that service that you're getting here. Even though this is free, I think I provide a better service. With those ones, maybe they limit your the number of questions you can ask. They limit the time that they can give you, the, the, the time that's offered to you. If you want more time, you have to pay extra. This is not how our lessons work. Our lessons, we give you as much as we can so that you can understand. Because when you go and pick up a Quran and you are able to understand the Quran, I get the ajr. I, the person who taught you, and you, whoever you teach, and they, whoever they teach, we get a silsila, it's a chain of ajr going to everyone in that line of teaching. This is our motivation. Our motivation is to be able to teach people how to understand the Quran, how to increase their iman. When their iman is increased and they are more pious and they fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they do righteous deeds because of the inspiration that they have understood from the Arabic language or from reading the Quran, we get a share in that ajr. And this ajr is continuous from the sadaqah jariya, greatest sadaqah jariya is disseminating knowledge. It benefits you even while you're in your grave, so long as people are implementing that beneficial knowledge.